So we're here at Evolution. Uh, I'm Scott Dolly. This is where my patients have been. Ben suffered a, uh, a pretty solid injury, we'll call it, uh, wrecking a motorcycle and then battling with infection and battling with unsuccessful surgeries and uh, he had this Facebook decision that he had to get his leg amputated. And he actually came to me for shoulder issues and I was like, man, you should, you should let me you know, do some work on your leg. And he was talking about some chronic muscle spasms and some issues he was having and it turned into a tremendous success story with using Hawker heart grip instruments to get the adhesions and scar tissue out and to increase circulation. So Ben, what were you dealing with with the, uh, I guess, spasms and then swelling in your leg? Basically the calf that I have left, this, um, a rare amputee that I've actually built that up. Um, I'm working on doing what I do. So when, in my, when my leg is in my socket, there's no place for it to expand or move or grow. So this thing, when it would swell up, then I would get you know, a lot of pain, burning, cramping, all that stuff going on, and also spasms. So. It was it was crazy to be faced with a, a spasm muscle, which we usually stretch, but there's not a joint distal to it to lengthen, to stretch this muscle. And I'm like, how am I gonna lengthen the fascia and, and to lengthen all this? And uh, really, so the, the tools came in. So so just from using, using the instruments to really work down through what's left of his gastroc and soleus, um, and just doing what the tools do, just let them get some purchase and just go through there. And this is so smooth, um, especially when we get down around where they had to tie this up. This was actually like this crevice that looked more like this in the beginning, and now it's opened up. And uh, so as far as the, the joint not fitting tight in the limb anymore, he's not dealing with nearly as much of that, and the spasm run was totally gone. So we were able to use hawk risk instruments to pull scar tissue and adhesions out of this muscle and uh, I mean, right now you're seeing me just work pretty good, pretty aggressively here, and he's taking it fine. That's not what the first two sessions were like, no. right? <laughs> there was some like some deep rocks in there of bound up tissue. I wanted to hit him. Yeah, it was true. But then he did, and we hugged it out. You know that parents more. It's <laughs> awesome. He's going to do some Spartan races this year. Uh, so cool story to get on video for uh, the use of tools and getting uh, some adhesions out of out of a muscle that it really is almost impossible to stretch at this point for this guy. Thanks.